<laughs> you guys have won seven of the last ten. Do you feel like nine. it's a, n nine? Do you feel like it's, it's all starting to click and come together? Uh, well, it always feels great to win. Uh, I think we'll click even more when Andrew's in the lineup because he's such an important player to what we do. And um, we still have another level to reach, so I think uh, we should just keep staying humble and working hard, and we'll get there. I know we will. Clay, why are you turning the ball over so much? <laughs> <laughs> Did we tonight? 24. Well, at least we had 35 assists, but yeah, we definitely need to cut that in half going forward. Sometimes uh, we can be a little careless, so you got to right that ship when the playoff time comes, that's for sure. Clay, I know you're not thinking about I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Clay. I know you're not thinking about this at this time, though. But um, considering you know a lot of things are undecided, but what would a Sacramento Kings uh, Warrior matchup look like in the playoff to you? That'd be amazing. I, I, I don't know when that's ever happened. Has it happened? No. Yeah, never. yeah that'd be special for the Northern California. I mean, Kings got great fans. We got great fans. Mike B's got them boys playing together and hard, and um, that'd be really cool just for. One in California, uh, which is a basketball hotbed at the moment, and it would be nice for the travel. That would be very nice. That'd hey, Clay, you really seem nice. you seem locked in tonight. And, and last year, you talked locked in. You, you, you talked last year about appreciating sort of every step since mm -hmm. everything you've been through. You relish it even more this time of year as you get close to the postseason, and, and it sort of matters more. Absolutely, I played a full season. You know, I missed like 13 games or whatever, but. Uh, Playing almost nearly 70 games is a huge milestone for me, and uh, to shake off the early season rust and have the shooting year I did is even more impressive. I give myself a pat on the back for those years of so much hard work when nobody was watching. Those were really tough times for me, and I uh, persevered, and I still am hungry to be even greater than I was. Hi, Clay. Uh, Steve. Uh, Dante said that Steve kind of came in at halftime and reminded you guys what was at stake and how you guys needed to kind of turn it around in mm -hmm. the second half. But Dante said like you shouldn't, you're not a team that needs to turn it around the second half, like you shouldn't be. What do you guys need to do just to kind of be more locked in at the start so you don't have to find yourself? I would say we have to value the ball more, take great shots, and communicate on defense. We those do those three things. I, I don't see a team who can beat us in a seven-game series when we're healthy. Um, so if we do those three things, three things going forward, I think we'll be in a great position to repeat. How do you guys was... lock in as a team for games? Is it indiv more individual? Is it something you guys do as a team? It's focused? much more individual, but you can always encourage your teammates. That's what team sports are about. So. Just, uh, I mean, the onus is on Steph, Dre, and I to lead, and the young guys will follow. Dante was saying how you guys have a good problem with all you have to do is win in Portland, and you guys are out of the play, and where a lot of other teams, it's we need to win, and this team has to lose. Or So how, I mean, what is the mindset heading into Portland, and is that a good problem to have, that you do you have control over your own destiny to a certain degree? So, I mean, it's, something, it's not ideal, but it is a great situation. Like, we have to go up there and treated as a must-win game, and it's a great way to prep for the playoffs. So I'm excited I get to play in front of my home town and my family, and I always love playing in the Rose Garden. It's always special for me. But you, you just kind of touched on it, but what do you expect Sunday to be like? You guys can be anywhere from 5th to 8th after Sunday. Um, and like you said, it's a, there's a personal significance for you yeah. going home. What do you expect just the dynamics of Sunday's game to be like? We have to bring that intensity. I know. Poor, I don't know if Dame Willard's playing. I hope he he's doesn't. Not. He's not. <laughs> still can't relax though. There's still you have to respect your opponent. Um, anything can happen this league, but we got to go up there and just take care of business and play. Uh, just with that Warriors brand of basketball that's made us the best league we are. Oh, sorry. Uh, last time you visited China was in 2017. The, the Chinese KT fans really, really miss it a lot. Do you have yeah. any like plan go around yeah. the world this summer? I will be back there soon. I, I miss the Chinese fans as well. I miss uh, seeing all the Warrior fans out there. I miss 
shooting clinics, the kids camps, going to the Anta store. Um, I have some great memories in China. Uh, there's so many basketball lovers, and we might not speak the same language, but we speak basketball, and I just love having that connection with people that you might never have thought you would, and um, to have impact on people, you know, six, seven thousand miles away. Uh, it's very inspiring, and I always enjoy my time with the Chinese uh, basketball fans. They uh, inspire me to play my hardest. Clay, you mentioned respecting your opponent. How much can you learn from tonight and apply to Sunday? And obviously you guys won tonight, but it was kind of ragged at times. As, as you said, it wasn't Warriors sort of basketball. How, how much can you take what happened tonight and apply it to Sunday, I guess? Well, besides the turnovers, I say a 22-point win is pretty good. But, um, <laughs> if we do what we did tonight, win by 20, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy. You know, we can't be perfect every night, right. but we can definitely be better. And cutting down those turnovers would be the biggest uh, emphasis for us. Right. Clay, well, what stands out to you about your time with, with Mike Brown, oh, particularly on the, on the defensive yeah. end? Is, is there yeah. something that, that he taught you that you thought took your defensive game to a different level? Uh, I really enjoyed my time with Mike. Um, I asked him a ton of questions about what it was like coaching Kobe and LeBron and how he got to start in the NBA and how he grinded for, he's been around this league for decades. Um, He's a really big basketball junkie, and he was the leader of our defense, and he stepped in when Steve wasn't feeling well and led us to so many postseason wins. So um, I look back on my time with Mike very uh, fondly, and uh, he's done such a great job this year. I hope he gets coach of the year. Just, you know, the Kings being back in the playoffs for the first time since 05 is special. In your first year, too, um, he's just a great guy, and. I love talking about his motorcycles and his journeys all around the country on those. And I mean, we both have our hobbies outside of basketball that probably connected us more. Motorcycles, boats, whatever it be. So I'm just happy for him. Clay, how much easier are three pointers after Kavon Looney gets the offensive rebound? Oh man, Kavon Washington was in full effect tonight. <laughs> and, and, uh, it's so easy. It's the easiest three you can get. I mean, Rick Pitino said that, you know, you get an old board, look out at the perimeter, because you're not going to get a better look than that. You obviously have bigger objectives, but does 300 three-pointers matter? Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, how many guys have done that in the history of the game? I'm not going to really shoot for it. Well, I am going to shoot for it. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's not, I would rather just win the game, but that would be really cool to accomplish. I can't even lie to you. Thank, Play, you, thank you for your honesty. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Dante uh, was talking about kind of a mechanical change that he made shooting the minus this year, hand placement. As a shooter yourself, when do you know it feels right off your off your fingers? Uh, you know it's going in or not right when you release it. That's not true. Sometimes it goes in and out. Sometimes you bank it. But uh, as a shooter, man, I don't know, man. I've been shooting my whole life, and I was blessed with a gift, and I've just worked on it since I was a teenager. And, I'll never lose, the, lose that love for getting buckets, that's for sure. How would you describe the emotion of playing in Portland for you? Oh, special. I mean, my earliest memories of the NBA are in Portland, in the Rose Garden at the Coliseum. My dad being a Blazer. Um, just I love going up there. and You know, I just loved watching Rashid and Damon and uh, Arvidas. I mean, those teams were special in my heart. A lot of heartbrokenness, though, when we lost the Lakers and West Finals, but uh, just some glorious times. I mean, I saw Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen play in 98. I'll never forget that. And just, I just really enjoyed going to the games up there. And I was so blessed to be able to accompany my dad to those. Um, some of my best memories. You left in eighth grade, right? Yeah, uh, yeah freshman year of high school. Clay, just real quick, what do you make of just the traveling Warriors fans making the trip yeah. over here to Sac? Like, I mean, yeah. What does that kind of give you guys when you guys play here in Sac? Huge boost, and we appreciate it so much. The nation's real, and they show out. And they, uh, they're the best. I mean, I've been here since 2012, and to see the fan base grow, it's been very special. And I mean, to see that there's Warrior fans around the world is even more special. But uh, when they just, you know, the local ones come up here and show us love. It, we don't, it doesn't go unnoticed.
Could that make a difference in the playoff if you end up here? I uh, could. I mean, it always helps. That's for sure. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Clay. Of course. Yeah. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Clay.